What's going on, people? Hope y'all doing fantastic. What if you have a truck and you don't have any really have an experience uh, driving a combination unit, um, but you got your CDL, your Class A, you bought a truck, and you're ready to go? Here's what I recommend you doing: lease on to a container company, uh, either from the port or from the rail yard, um, because that's going to teach you a lot of things. Number one, it's going to teach you uh, just the basic maneuver, how to maneuver the truck around the rail yard or the port. Um, also, it will teach you how to back. It will teach you how to pull out of tight spots. It will teach you how to back, uh, back up. Cause some of those types of some of those spots, boy, when they them yard jockeys put them containers in there, they you be like, how, why would you do anyway? But uh, and uh, it will teach you, you know, if a trailer is um, either too high or too low, it will teach you, you know, how to do that. Um, you know, raise it up or lower it with the the uh, the handle, you know, for the the um, the landing gear. Um, it will teach you a lot of things. That's what I'm trying to say. It will teach you a lot of things. And then once you get good at that, you can transition into something else. Um, I used to pull containers out of the rail yard. And um, I'll tell you, some of them were doozies and some of them were, you know, piece of cake. Um, so that's what you would want to look into. And here's another reason why I said, you know, containers. These are just big metal boxes. So... If you're backing into a spot and you're you're off a little bit and you know like for instance, let's say you got your your tandem slid all the way forward and you're backing into the spot and with that what five foot overhang, you know what I mean you know it, it catches the other trailer, but since it's a big metal box and it's already scratched up and dented up anyway nobody's really going to take notice to it now unless you put a big gash in it or something like that so uh but the yard jockeys they do it all the time <laughs> they drag half the other trailer out when they're pulling one out don't ask me how i know but um look into containers if you're in that type of situation pull on containers now here's the thing here's how to make money with containers obviously the more containers that you do the more you make uh Limit yourself with live loads. Forget the live loads, just do drop and hook. Um, depending on where you are to the port or the rail yard, because the, the ports, at least the ports where I'm at, they close at what, four or five or six in the, in the evening. Um, the, contain, the, the rail yards open 24 hours. Most of them open 24 hours. Uh, pull out of the rail yard because they're open 24 hours. So, stay out uh again this is uh um this is on conditions of you being very close to how far you are from the the uh the rail yard or not um stay out you know just like you're being otr just stay out run your loads go home on the weekend or throughout the night or whatever but maybe not every night um not unless you get loads lined up like that where you can stop at the house and keep it rolling um just figure out the system. That's all. Um, what else can I give you about the rail yard? Uh, that's pretty much it. Um, just hustle. That's all. Hustle, hustle, hustle. And you'll make, you'll make okay money. Um, you ain't going to break the bank, but you'll make okay money for staying local. Uh, keep your fifth wheel greased because you're doing a lot of drop and hook. Uh, that's all I have for this one. See you on the next one.